in today's video tutorial i'll show you how to achieve exactly as seen hello and assalamu alaikum everyone welcome to my channel if you are all subscriber i say welcome back if you are new viewer do well to subscribe like and comment the first thing you will do is to draft the block so i normally draft the bodice block normal bodice block before i start um cutting the pinafore so this is my starting point and the measurement that i'm going to use is for six months yes six months old princess but i will do it in such a way that you can be able to use other size like from one to above year old but i will try my possible best to give out the measurement accurately for six years then you will like change when i say you use two inches for six months then you can use about three but just stay with me and i'll show you how to do it just like i said the first thing we are going to do is to draft the body's block like when we are going to make a dress so you start from the shoulder to the child waist and my own is six inches so you go ahead and put your child the child that we are working with from that means the measurement that you are going to use is from the shoulder to the waist and you insert it there and the next is to cut out the neckline so neckline since she is very small we are using two inches including the joining allowance so make use of your measurements maybe you can use three inches if you are using a year old including the joining allowance okay then for the shoulder i'm going to add 2.5 inches also i'll go down by 0 0.5 which is the shoulder slant this is constant for any um for every child okay what i'm doing here is i'm cutting the arm side or the arm hole the arm hole is 4.5 inches and from then i will mark a straight line which is going to serve as the chest line so on this chest line it is where that we are going to put the chest measurement that is the round round measurement of your child but before then i just divide the arm hole into two and i went in by quarter of an inch and i also go out using a curve edge you can use plates or cd to achieve this curve something so the chest as we normally do we are going to divide it by four if you don't have calculator or if you are not good in mass then you just use your measuring tape to do that it's not a big deal so whatever measurement you got you have to input it there but you have to add a joining allowance of one inch i mostly add one inch for my side allowance and i'm going to mark it straight okay we are done with the cutting of the body's block now what remains is the joining allowance note that i'm adding 0 0.5 inches all around the armhole and the shoulder area shoulder slant i'm not going to add um 0 0.5 inches on the neckline and also on the side like i told you i have added that already okay so the initial length was six inches but i have added half inch for that so you make sure to do that don't forget what i'm doing here i'm just cutting directly as you can see Drafting is not that hard and it is quite simple and easy because once you draft this and if you are going to make it a business for you want to venture into making rompers and selling it this pattern is going to like serve as a guide for you whenever you want to make a romper for six months old you can just carry it and do your stuff with it another advantage of drafting is you will be able to like test and see if the design will come up correctly like accurately without any mistake okay so you don't have to waste that fabric you know how cotton fabric is kind of expensive or if you are working with a customer or so you don't have to it will save you from ruining person something okay so to be sure of what i'm doing i just went ahead and cut two pieces of the bodies here we don't need back we just need the front okay so i replicated it and one is going to serve as the back for me to cut the strap and the other is going to serve as the front okay so what I have exactly for the shoulder is 2.5 and for the down part, I'm going to go in like by half inch or by one inch. I went in by 1.5 inches and I cut and I, sorry, and I mark across like that. You know, the line is supposed to be slanting. Okay. At the top, I have 2.5 and at the down part, I have 1.5 inches sharp. If you like, you can make your strap to be... Or shorter than this like not as wide as this or yeah you can like manipulate but before you start manipulating here and there try as much as possible to replicate this as seen because this is just for six months old you can use rack and do that so that's for the back and for the front we are going to create a belt 
like that so i went up by 2.5 inches but in your own case if you are using a bigger size the belt you know have to be a little bit big you can do 3 inches but you can leave it as 2.5 inches also that will be you have a fancy something and again the front of the romper i don't want it to cover up the chest the whole front of the child i want it to like go inward so that when the child wears a t-shirt the shirt in is going to like show at the front you understand what i mean okay so after doing that i'm going to like indicate because we need to add some joining allowance yeah at the down part we need to add 0 0.5 and also at this point you need another 0 0.5 inches and also on the strap the middle part the one that i just mark plus is the one that we are going to use the other two we are going to dispose them okay if you want your strap to be very long you can make it 1.5 but if you don't want you can make it to be 0 0.5 inches that also will be enough like will be very very okay so let me mark let me give them a name so that it will not be confusing you know how the pattern can easily confuse somebody so just go ahead and level your own i'm making for six months old and this is a tested and trusted process you can just keep the pattern and cut out on your pin on your main fabric if you are working with six months old but if you are not working with six months old i would advise you to first of all draft before you proceed okay another trick for making rompers if especially if you are working with a very limited fabric is to cut out the base in some rompers the base or the flare length is cutting as just a, a rectangle but mine i'm going to make it um like it is going to have a curve so i'm going to cut a half cycle for that so the full length is 18 inches and do from the shoulder to the waist is 6.5 so i minus 6.5 from 18 inches which gave me 12.5 so this cut is going to be 12.5 so i folded my fabric into four and i make this cone shape and the whole fabric it gives me something around 20 something so i just like cut out from down parts to the top where i have the 12 inches i just went ahead and mark and the remaining part the remaining top i'm just going to mark like this the top is going to like make it will it is going to be enough for me to do some pleats if you like to make gathers you can go ahead and make gathers but i have an aim to achieve a style it is a pleat so the cone you don't have to dispose it you just go ahead and cut out the front of the pinafore remember to leave 0 0.5 inch for the joining allowance that is very very important yes so this is done also go ahead and cut out the lining exactly as we did then this is the belt that is why i level it as b so you have to add 0 0.5 inch at the top and 0 0.5 inch at the down part this belt we need four or let's say we need two of it and it has to be cut out on fold and then again for the strap you see i folded it into four and i'm going to cut exactly as how the pattern is making sure to leave a joining allowance of 0 0.5 so let us assemble the pattern and see what we got a b is for the front and the last c is going to be at the back now let me show you how to seal a cycle flare without um looking somehow okay the first thing i do i just fold it once i just make one fold and i sew then i fold again and i sew again so this is the it is not easy if you are working with a manual sewing machine but i promise you it is worth adapting this method especially if you are into ready to wear english ready to wear business so your work is going to look very very neat on the inside you will see that we have double thread and on the outside you see that we have a single thread this is something that i have been battling to master but with time i have mastered it so now it is your turn okay let us proceed we will go ahead and sew the neckline as seen and once we finish with that we are going to you have option or two options it is either you notch or you trim out the excess and leave a little i am going to sew on the 0 0.5 inches and what i will be left with i will be left with 1.5 inches 
so 1.5 inches is ideal for infants yes so this is what i did i just went ahead and trim out the excess as low as i could and today i don't have to i don't want to like make and top stitching i feel like leaving it like that and because my work is going to be perfect at the end okay taking the strap i went ahead and i caught a lining for the strap but here i discovered that i don't really really need it so i folded it and i kept it aside maybe sometime i will use it okay taking the two strap together this is how i'm going to sew i'm going to sew from that area at the edge i'm going to sew from that area like that and i will come back to the other hand and i'll repeat the same to the other strap Making it slanty like that is really optional, but if you want to give your work a fancy and a little bit drama, you can make it slanty like that. Okay, now here I take and I will sandwich, I will sandwich the strap between the lining and the main fabric, and I will sew on my 0 0.5 inches. Trim out the excess where necessary, and I replicate the same to the other hand. Now, let me show you what we have after you have pull out the right side out you see that we have about 0 0.5 inch axis so that is where we are going to sew again yeah i just flip it backwards and i sew again now after you have pulled out this is what we got and then i'm going to secure the waistline before i attach it you can see that i have sewn i forgot to show you i don't know how this step i skipped it but you can achieve it okay but if it, it is optional okay so taking the main fabric and the lining, I just sandwich the top, the bodies, just like that and I sew it. So this is what I got. And from then, I will have to top stitch. If you have iron, you can iron it, but I don't want to leave the sewing machine. They can easily take off the light. So I just went ahead and I top stitch. Top stitch really, really helps. Okay. So for the back, you know, the back, there is not any bodies to sandwich. So you can just make it a band like that and you connect to the two sides you connect you sew the two sides together and i'm sewing on that one in that i left earlier on if you remember okay so this is what i got the top of the bodice block is finished now we are going to um install the flare okay for the flare i just went ahead and i sew both the two edges together and they are going to be at the side the place that i have joining is going to be at the joining where i joined the top that means the yes i'm just showing you i'm just aligning now going to align where i have joining i match them together where i don't i make some pleats okay this will help me to pleat correctly without being biased okay make as much pleat as you can if it is gathers you want to make you are also good to do that so guys we have finished this is the end of the tutorial and the next thing we are going to do is to just install this um is it snips yes i just went ahead and i hook them up and if you don't like this you can make your baby pinafore to be built in you can just sew it you can just tuck it down and that's all attach your bow and package it and make about five or ten and sell okay so if you like this video tutorial give us a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe